Hello everybody, I'm Blazing Rebecca, and welcome back to Program 404. So it's like, instead of following Christ to see if you can help with anything, we're gonna choose one of the other things. And I think we're gonna go with explore the house a little. You stood up and walked around the house. Just as you were leaving the room, you bumped into a figure. But, oh no. So first you come into our home, and then you want to take away my personal space as well? What is your damage? Uh, what's yours? Sorry, I just wanted to look around for a bit. I'd rather you get out of the house and explore the outside. Hold on. Uh. Apologize again. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to do it. Uh, it's fine, I know you're sorry. What was your name again? Rebecca. Okay, I'll try and remember that. No, I, I'd rather you didn't, sir. Look, I really don't like you around here. Cry already has a bunch of his other cells around, and honestly, it's ticking me off. The only, cry, the only one Cry needs is me, nobody else. I don't need anyone more new distractions for Cry. He only needs me. You nod. No wonder Cry calls this dude mad. Don't worry, I'll be leaving soon. I'll just tell Cry that I'm going. Mad grunted in approval and walked away. You felt that you left a better impression of yourself than Matt. <laughs> you joined Cry in the kitchen. I gotta go now. Thank you for letting me know what you've been busy with. That's nothing. It was good to have a, someone understand what I'm going through. It suits. Yeah, okay, this is still the same. Back at home, receive a contact request on Skype. Can you plant? Yep. Oh! You need to stop pestering Cry already. You stare at the monitor. This ain't no cry. You're mad? Yep, that when that music kick hits in, it's mad. It's mad cry. You're not as oh, okay, jeez. You're not as fuck, you know? I'm sorry, I was worried about crying in this situation. I told you that I'm the only one that he needs. You do know that he's finding it hard to cope with you guys around, right? Huh? No? Okay, that was kind of expected. What do you mean that he doesn't need me? Uh, you guys aren't bothering him a lot and he can't record anything? Plus, you guys are created by a... a... glitch? From what I get, he doesn't want you guys around. Uh, Matt sounds like he's incredibly frustrated. That's understandable. And how will he be satisfied? I just want to protect him from everything? Do you want me to give you some advice? Hold on. Yes! Jeez! You started to give Mad advice. Mad didn't seem to trust you at first. But as you drew more and more examples of your past experiences to support your points, you began to begin to trust you more. As time passes, Mad starts coming to you more and more for often for more advice. He starts asking for advice even on the smallest things, such as what, what he should get as a snack. You feel like he's starting to get attached to you. One night as usual, you were surfing the internet with someone not hugging to your door. So not much people who find you at this time of the day. Um. Uh. I, I guess check it? Check the door? You opened the door. It was mad. M mad? What are you doing here at this hour? I thought I'd leave Cry alone. Maybe you were right. I'm bothering him way too much with that my existence. Uh, I see. Seeing that it's so late, do you want to sit here until tomorrow? Matt fell silent for a moment, then nodded. You let him in and showed him a place that he could sleep. Uh, Matt didn't leave the next morning. Oh no! It said, said he stayed here for quite a while. I felt like he had no intention of going of, to go back to Cry's. But I didn't have the heart to tell him to go back either. I thought it would be fine to have an extra person around, but that was wrong? When Matt used to do the Cry, he started to do to me- WHAT?! He followed me everywhere. Whenever I had people over, he'd always treat them with a terrible attitude and got up to late left. Oh no! When I played games or chat with other people, he threw furniture all over the place unless I stopped. I don't know how I can get rid of him. He scares me. 
And he scares other people away. He keeps repeating, repeating that phrase too. I shiver every time I, I thought of it. Oh god. Becca, the only one that you need is me. You don't need anyone else. Oh no. It's gonna be a little yander right in there. Just me. Oh! Oh! And relocated spotlight. Oh god. Okay, um... You're Rebecca, aren't you? You gotta stop pestering Colonel already. Hold on. Now this is- and now I'm gonna do one of what happens where you stay where you are. You thought that anyone finding you this hour is too shady. Besides, it might just be an illusion. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Okay, that wasn't an illusion. You're still too, too scared to answer the door. Someone you don't know might barge in. You continue to surf the web. Oh! Um... Someone's knocking on your window. Oh no! You looked outside. A familiar figure stood outside. He was mad. Hey, Rebecca! M mad? Hey, Rebecca! Mad? Are you alright? Becca, why didn't you answer the door? Well, usually people don't come over at this hour, so I thought it was somebody shady. Oh! I think I pissed him off! You thought I was someone shady? Mad broke the window with his hands! That's blatantly obvious! Huh? I'm... Someone shady? Ah! <laughs> no, 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 you're not someone shady. I just thought you were somebody else. I. Shh. Don't worry, Rebecca. Don't worry. No one, no one she will come hurt you anymore. I'll be here with you. Wherever you go, I will protect you. Always. Wh wherever I go? Always? What do you mean? Oh god. Yes. Always. Oh god, that face. I will always protect you. You only need me. Just me. Always. <laughs> Persistent Overseer. I don't feel okay with this. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go see what other endings I can get, so I'll see you in the next part. See ya!